This is just the diagram that shows you dental prospect, they go to your website, you're tracking them, you're tracking them back on Facebook, you're getting them into an ad to restart them through this funnel and you just can continue to do it. So like I would do an expired ad that had eight different steps. I would send it to the, all the expireds in the area. If whoever watches this first video, show them video number two. Whoever watches video number two, show them video number three. By the time they got to eight, I was standing in front of their house and they were like, wow, we're going with this guy. Because I would just say, do you want us to do this for your house as well? And nobody else would be able to run them through that. And that would probably cost me about $10 to do. Because remember, I'm only spending ads the, the budget for ad two, three, four, five, and six are based off of if they did it based off of the first one. So two, three, four just gets cheaper, 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 because I know I'm sending it to the people that have already done the first step. Macy's is a good example. They do it very well. There's a device called a beacon. You can track anybody that comes into your store that has the Bluetooth turned on in their phone. I can grab all of their IP addresses and then show them a Facebook ad. If they were in women's clothing for 10 minutes, they were in men's clothing for 10 minutes, and then they were in jewelry for 30 minutes, when they go back to Facebook, I'm showing them a jewelry ad from Macy's because I just retargeted them based off their IP address because their Bluetooth was on and you've given us permission to grab that information. That's how massive this world is. <laughs> you can do beacons in real estate as well. So I, I would set up beacons all the time. You can put beacons in the middle of the city and say, show an ad to somebody that, ne that doesn't live here, that keeps traveling frequently here. Then you show them an ad. Are you traveling frequently to Brentwood? Why don't you consider buying a house? That's exactly how Airbnb does ads, how VRBO does ads. Um, you know, you go to Airbnb, you don't do something, you come back, that's retargeting. You go to a different area and then come back and then they knew that you were there because you start seeing that area's content, that's retargeting. That's how massive retargeting is. I was doing it based off of website activity and hopefully it resonated with somebody here.